Uh, actually, I would strongly disagree with that since you gave me the opportunity. Yes. Uh, let me just give you a couple of additional Please. economic data points Please on do. the impact of our sanctions. Uh, the um, IMF has downgraded uh, Russia's growth outlook to 0.2% this year and has said that the country was in recession in the first half of the year. Uh, this stands in stark contrast to previous IMF forecasts, which as recently as February were projecting 2% growth. These are some specific data points of uh, what our impact has been. The IMF has also said they expect up to $100 billion in capital flight from Russia this year. Uh, and since March, Russia companies and, government of, and the government of Russia have had to cancel numerous bond auctions. Uh, Russia companies have had to pay more to borrow, and the ratings agencies have downgraded Russia's credit rating to one notch above junk status. I know that's your favorite example. Uh, but those are some examples of how our sanctions to date have had an impact. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, as we consider additional sanctions in a coordinated uh, manner with the Europeans, um, you know, that's uh, the impact we've already had. So what impact has uh, your um, what, what impact have your sanctions and what you just mentioned had on the actual Russia policy in Ukraine? Well, Matt, I think uh, there has been engagement and discussion uh, about uh, a ceasefire. We are clearly still uh, believe that there are more steps that the Russian separatists need to take, that the Russians can take themselves. Uh, we feel that this has been exerting a strong amount of pressure on the economy there, uh, that um, we feel if President Putin cares deeply about uh, his people, about the economy in his own country, uh, should continue to impact his decision making. Right. But you just went, went through this bevy of statistics. Yes. Talking about how crappy the Russian economy is doing since you and the Europeans have imposed your sanctions. And I'm just curious, if you say that it's having an impact on the economy, Where's the impact on the on on the Russia's policy towards Ukraine? You, they still have Crimea. I mean, that seems to be just gone now. The ceasefire, despite your pushing it and and trying to get the Russians on board numerous numerous times, it, it is not going it is not going anywhere. In fact, the situation is getting worse. Um, they don't they, they they haven't changed their their attitude or their 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 policy at all. So I'm just curious as to how it is exactly you would argue that the sanctions are having an impact. Well, Matt, I think that's why we reserve the option of doing more if uh, we decide uh, we should. So, we so you would effective. agree then that the sanctions to date have not been effective in changing, in changing the policy? The, I the think Russia's we've policy. seen um, in the past that there are occasions where uh, economic sanctions uh, can hit a breaking point and can cause, um, you know, the willingness to engage. Obviously, it's very different from Iran, um, but we're seeing a dramatic impact from the economic sanctions. And if, again, uh, the leaders in Russia care as deeply as they say they do about their people, then uh, we hope and expect that this will change their behavior. Have you, right? But it hasn't. It hasn't yet. Correct. 